Welcome to Del Rey in the heart of Alexandria. This is a coveted community, one that was built in the early 1900s and is vibrant and what we consider an artist's village. I wanna show you this mural. You're gonna see murals all throughout the main area, especially Mount Vernon Avenue. And we're gonna spend time to walk you through what that looks like and even take you on a driving tour of all of Del Rey and why people wanna live here and what it looks like. We'll even give you some ideas that you may not know, even if you're a local. The fact that there was a racetrack, that's right, there used to be a racetrack in the late 1800s before it got banned. And at that time, they were making over $150,000 in net profit. This is crazy. That's why you see this horse race, uh, the jockey and the horse racing through in part of Del Rey. It was just north of here, the St. Asaph racetrack. So join me on a tour as we walk you through some of my favorites here in the heart of Del Rey. I'm gonna walk you through some of my favorites here in Del Rey and wanted to include Cheese Steak. This is a fabulous place. You know, charcuterie is just taking off. Everybody wants to know samples of different cheeses and what you should do. They have some amazing cheeses from all around the world as well as some specialty wines. You definitely wanna check out Cheese Steak. And when you think village, you always think farmer's market. That's right, in Del Rey, in the heart of it, you have a farmer's market right here on Mount Vernon Avenue. It takes up two of the parking areas, one right behind me and then the one across the street where you can get local produce from local farms and really have a better way to eat and a fun lifestyle. It's something you can check out every week during the season. One of the fun things you'll find on Mount Vernon Avenue is the pop-up bar experience. And you'll see this cycle through every different season, holiday. Uh, I was in there when it was Cuban-based. There was also the <laughs> Halloween Fright Nights. And now you'll see how it is Joy on the Avenue. So they do a great job of capturing the season as well as mixing in different drinks, cocktails, and food that's associated with whatever the new pop-up bar is. Make sure you check that out here on Mount Vernon Avenue when you're looking for new places to try. So it's cold outside and we're talking about custard and ice cream. Why? Because this place is so good. Every summer, every time it's open, you're going to see a line of people coming in wanting the custard. They always have vanilla and chocolate and then they have kind of their custard of the week or of the day so you can try new things. And of course, they can do Sundays for you and all of that. In 2021, they made an addition for Just Fine Donuts. So now you can not only get ice cream and custard, you can also get uh donuts so i mean how how could it get better uh this is the place though uh every weekend every evening you're gonna see it just loaded with people and everybody coming through to get their dessert of the week and no day or trip is complete without venturing to saint elmo's for the amazing coffee that they have you can see they have fun murals throughout and they always do a great job of brightening up for whatever holiday is happening uh, in addition to the coffee, you can get uh, bagels, croissants, everything else that they have here to just enjoy. A lot of people will come actually and, and spend time working for hours on end here at the coffee shop. Del Rey Pizzeria is one of the favorite pizza places in Del Rey, of course. It's gotten so big they've expanded to another location. Uh, it's amazing the specialties they've come up with. From the Maui Waui to all the different uh, supreme pizzas that they've created with their own names that you got to try. Uh, in addition, their wings are great and it is a perfect place to watch a ball game with others. It's tough to find good barbecue and Pork Barrel Barbecue is fantastic right here on Mount Vernon Avenue where you can get anything from brisket to turkey to sausage links. Uh, I love their cornbread and mac and cheese. Make sure you get the angry mac and cheese to accompany the brisket. That's my selection. Uh, enjoy their seasoning that's even been spotlighted on TV, picked up nationally. People love their dry rub that they have here at Pork Barrel Barbecue. Evening Star is a well-known restaurant started in the late 90s, mostly American cuisine. They bring in wines from around the country and it's a small space inside. They have dining on the outside, but it's known as kind of a trifecta because not only do you have Evening Star, you have the Majestic Cafe and then upstairs you have number nine, which is a fun lounge. Make sure you take advantage of all three when you're figuring out what you're going to do with your evening and add Evening Star to your next stop. And don't forget about Del Rey Cafe. It's not on Mount Vernon Avenue, it's on Howell Avenue, so you don't always drive by it. It is French cuisine, uh, homemade French onion soup, uh, well known for its venison, uh, steak, and even lobster options. You definitely wanna check it out. I love the fact that it doesn't feel like a commercial building. Uh, you're eating in someone's home, and that's what it feels like when you come to Del Rey Cafe.
So uh, Lena's is my favorite pizza place in all of Alexandria. Uh, brick oven, they always jazz up their, their exterior beer garden here um, for the time of year it is. Uh, but the brick oven pizza that they have there is amazing. And it's right next to Potomac Yard Park. Now, part of Delray, you have for easy access to two different metros, one being Braddock Road Metro here that's going to be up on our left-hand side. Now, if we continued north and to the right, we would go into Old Town, and you'll see here uh, the Braddock Road Metro. And we're going <clears> to <throat> swing around and then enter the south side of Delray. And as we turn onto Mount Vernon Avenue, this begins uh, the main part of Delray uh, that people know it for. Uh, unfortunately, this is the Lenny Harris Memorial Fields. This is where, if you, if you know DC, they have an annual game uh, that's played by the politicians in Nationals Park. And during one of the practices here at this park, is is where uh, there was a shooting and unfortunately um, they renamed the fields uh, on a positive spin to that to, to honor the family uh, you'll see here on the right hand side this is uh, the middle school so this is the famous George Washington Middle School uh, and it's a huge campus well known and and that this is a feeder into that school, Delray, um, parts of Old Town. You will have some apartment buildings, uh, condos, uh, single family and row houses here in Delray. And this area right here is what starts a lot of the restaurants. So. Uh, beyond my favorite, back behind us, the Lena's for pizza. Uh, this is where you're going to start to see a lot more um, restaurants and the shopping and everything else where it's going to start up here after Monroe Avenue. Now, over on the right-hand side, this is a fabulous uh, beer garden that's open throughout the year. On the left-hand side, famous Owl's Steakhouse. That is my favorite cheesesteak outside of Philly. Always love uh, going there and <laughs> I mean they do it right. They do it big. It's an 18 inch sub. It's crazy uh, but they serve it Philly style for sure. Um, now they use provolone. They don't do the cheese whiz uh, for those that, that know more about cheesesteaks. Beyond that you'll see car dealers. Uh, everything is here in Del Rey. Uh, and there is also walkability. So you saw the Metro, the Braddock Road Metro. Beyond Route 1, you have Potomac Yards, and I would say those are the two closest metro stations that'll, that'll serve you if you're living here in Del Rey. Um, and as mentioned, Mount Vernon Avenue, is kind of like, you know, in Old Town, you've got King Street that divides everything. Mount Vernon Avenue is the famous street or thoroughfare that has it all, including Evening Star here on the left-hand side. Um, which has the famous speakeasy behind it, Majestic. And you're going to start to see all of the wonderful boutiques as well as restaurants as we go up and down Mount Vernon Avenue. And uh, these row houses are zoned both commercial and residential. Uh, so you will see some people living in it. You'll see other people that are using it as business space or, or leasing it out. Delray Pizzeria is, is uh, very well known. There's actually two Delray Pizzerias now in the local area, one closer down near Bellhaven in Alexandria. As we're driving through Delray, you'll notice that it follows kind of that historic pattern uh, that we saw in Old Town. Old, Old Town and Delray, uh, Delray is uh, a cheaper opportunity to still get that uh, idea of walkability, being close to everything, being close to a metro, uh, 
and it'll range. The home on the right hand side is on the market right now for over 1.4. Uh, you'll see a range for single family homes, you're usually going to be over a million. Uh, and then for townhouses or row houses, it depends on the condition and the age, of course the square footage, but you can be anywhere from uh, 600,000 and above uh, when it comes to that. Um, Commonwealth Avenue is one of the large uh, thoroughfares through Del Rey and in Alexandria. and. Uh, the main street within it is uh, Mount Vernon Avenue, and we'll take you down Mount Vernon Avenue to get a, a feel for that. And you can see a lot of the larger homes that have been popped up and, and the original ones that were from the uh, early 1900s. You see the full brick surround. And I'm going to take you down, since it is Del Rey, I'm going to turn you down Del Rey Avenue, and you'll get a sense for the the, the greenery, the, the natural areas that they've provided for everyone. There is no homeowners association within it. So you're gonna see a wide variety of style, sizes, um, colors of the homes, what can be, be, be painted as. And in Del Rey, a lot of them are zoned both commercial and residential, which is great because you get total freedom with what you do and, and how you do it. And you'll see some of the old duplexes. A duplex is kind of a, a two townhouses together, like two end units. And you'll see that you have a couple of those on the same street as single family homes. So, uh, and over to the left is the famous St. Elmo's Coffee. And you can see this great mural here of famous people on the wall. Uh, it's an artist's village, uh, Del Rey is. And we're going to turn you down Mount Vernon Avenue so you get a good sense of uh, all of the boutique shops, restaurants, and everything else that you get here on Mount Vernon Avenue. And uh, parking on Mount Vernon Avenue can be tough. Uh, but you have every um, type of cuisine that you could want. Evening Star's a fun. There's even a speakeasy on the back side of the Evening Star restaurant. And when you talk about Del Rey, everyone... Now, Del Rey uh, on the east side is, is Route 1. And people want to be a little bit off of Route 1 for noise. But beyond that, people love being... Uh, close to Mount Vernon Avenue and that's really where you want to be. People will always ask, well, you know, how far is your home from Mount Vernon Avenue? And beyond that, they want to know from the major uh, or the main areas within it. And uh, within Del Rey, they've done a great job beyond some of the uh, tot lots to having a, a, its actual uh, community center that's going to be uh, down on the left hand side. And they've even brought it up to modern day where you have uh, places where you can park and actually uh, charge up your EV, your, your electric vehicle. And that's Del Rey. That gives you just kind of a small sense of what it means to live here in the village of Del Rey and why it's such a coveted area. People want to live here. They want to raise children, raise their family here. Generations pass from generations living here in Del Rey. Close proximity to the Braddock Road Metro and even Potomac Yards, the newest station. And of course, proximity to DC. It's rare to find a place where you can do shopping, retail, and dine out and be able to walk to it. That's the appeal of Del Rey. And one of the other appeals is that it's actually cheaper than living in Old Town on King Street versus Mount Vernon Avenue right here in Del Rey. So if you're in the art world or you want a little bit more space or maybe even a yard, that's the appeal of Del Rey when you're looking at Old Town and all the surrounding areas. Make sure you swing on by Del Rey.